So this continues from the last video on distance time graphs where we looked at the distance here is unchanging. It starts at 30 and that point there is still at 30, so it is stationary. The change in distance is zero, therefore the speed is zero. We're now going to look at speed time graphs, but more accurately they should be called velocity time graphs. Now their velocity because um, it's got a direction. So this is a vector with direction. Okay? Now, acceleration is the change in speed or change in velocity divided by time. Okay? Acceleration is measured in meters per second squared. So let's look at the first section. Well, here, between 0 and 10 seconds, the speed increases. It goes from 0 to 30. So this upward line means acceleration. Let's work out the acceleration in the first 10 seconds. So acceleration equals change in velocity. It goes from 0 to 30. The time taken was 0 to 10 is 10 seconds. So the acceleration is therefore 3 meters per second squared. Next, the next section shows here that the speed here is 30, or velocity is 30, the velocity here is 30. So there is no change in velocity. So this here shows a constant speed slash velocity. Let's work out what the acceleration is there. So the acceleration, the change in speed, zero divided by the time, 10 seconds. So acceleration there is 0 meters per second squared. That makes sense because it's not accelerating, it is constant. Last section. The last section, the speed is decreasing. It's gone down to 0. Okay, So we call this deceleration. Now, can we work out the acceleration or the deceleration of this point here? Well, the change in velocity, it starts at 30 and goes down to 0. So therefore, the, de the change in velocity is minus 30 meters per second. Remember, this is a directional vector. So deceleration is negative change in speed. The time taken was 5 seconds. Therefore, the acceleration is minus 6 metres per second squared. Okay. The last thing we can do with this speed time graph is we can work out distance. Okay. So to do distance, we do speed times time. So if we did speed times time, this is working out the area. So the distance is the area. So... Um, the distance travelled in the first 10 seconds would be the height, which is 30, times the base, because it's a triangle, times 10 over 2, because it's half base times height. Therefore, the distance travelled in the first section is 150 metres. The distance travelled in the second section, between here and here, well... It's just the area again. So the distance travelled in this section, the height is 30, the base is 10, so the distance travelled is 300 metres. The final section again is a half base times height. Half base is 2.5, height is 30, times them together you get 75 metres. So, in each section, there's the distance. The total distance then, add it all together, and you get 525 metres. Thank you very much.